Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy NFL Week 1 conclusion day. I hope y'all are feeling great. It's Victory Monday. So we had a victory Saturday, a victory Sunday, and then our traditional victory Monday. So happy victory Monday, everybody. The Eagles are 1-0. and I'm feeling so good about this team right now. I know we had some icks in game one, but y'all, it's game one. Every team, no team is going to look their best game one, and that's what we saw. If y'all were watching Sunday's games, no team is going to look their best week one. So I know we had our flaws week one, which we're going to talk about, but I'm not worried about that, G, at all. I'm super stoked for this season. I feel like that the birds have a real chance to make a run and really make some noise. I don't want to sound like the little boys, but I really feel like we can make some magic this year. So first and foremost, before we get into the birds, let's go ahead and talk about the NFC East standing. So Eagles, little boys, both get week one wins. No surprise there um, when it comes to us and the little boys being number one in the NFC East. That has been the it's been that way for a while now. Um, Giants, they look dead in the water. They don't even look like they should be allowed to play on Sundays. It honestly seems dangerous um, for their players. So the Giants, what, they put up three points maybe? I don't know. Um, and then Washington, Washington Commanders also lost as well. Washington Commanders lost to the Bucks. Washington can still make some shake, um, but Giants, they look like we predicted. They ain't going to do G. But let's talk about the Eagles. So, first of all, after game one, I'm so excited about this team. First of all, shout out to our defense for those second half adjustments. Early in the game, the defense was locked down. You know what I'm saying? We had those two turnovers, um, basically gave – um, the Packers the ball in the red zone, but the defense held them both times to field goals, didn't give up any touchdowns, did the best they could do, literally, because they already got the ball well into field goal range. Um, so the defense started off strong, obviously, in the second in the second quarter and the beginning of the third quarter, the very first drive of the third quarter. It was a little funky, but they tightened all the way up. Those adjustments came for the rest of the third, rest of the fourth. Um did everything that they had to do, got every single stop that they had to get to keep the offense in the game and to keep the team in the game. So shout out to the defense. I'm super excited what I'm seeing so far from them. N'Kobe Dean and Zach Bond, that duo looks so good. N'Kobe Dean just continuing what he did um, in the preseason, continuing that over to the regular season. It wasn't just some preseason hype or whatever. N'Kobe Dean looks like he's ready to bark all season long. That bull dog ready to bark, okay? Same with Zach Bond, like Vic Vangio was going on and on and on and on about how much he loves Zach Bond and y'all going to see, y'all going to see. And we saw Zach Bond a dog as well. Like, come on now. Look at this little linebacker duo. That, okay, I won't get any questions right now. But also Quinion Mitchell. Quinion, our rookie, has such a great rookie debut. Shout out to Quinion Mitchell. Like, literally such a great rookie debut um, for Quinion. Obviously, Saquon Barkley, insane. Saquon Barkley to score a touchdown, one, two, three. Literally, he said, what's that song, score a touchdown, one, two, three? All right, I got three of them. Saquon took that G, literally, Saquon Barkley. Oh, my gosh. Um, and I'm glad that we were pounding the rock. We was we was, we was, was handing it off. We was handing it off. You know what I mean? It was two times where I felt like we still should have went to Saquon when we did it. Um, but regardless, overall, I would say the run game um, and the amount of rushing attempts was in a good spot. Saquon Barkley, I cannot say enough. I cannot say enough. Welcome home. Welcome to the team. Um, so, yes, that's Saquon Barkley. Obviously, AJ and Devontae Smith, come on now. AJ and Devontae, we know. It's always going to be them. Like, AJ Brown, when he, you know what I'm saying? He's, he had Jair Alexander in a blender. And then Devontae Smith making those big catches every time we needed him to. Getting that, getting those yards after the catch, that yak. Um, Devontae Smith, AJ, of course, always right there. Um, Dallas got it too. Got a big catch. Um, some good yak too um, when we needed him. So Jalen Hurts also as well. I know we're going to talk about Jalen a little bit um, when we talk about the negatives. But Jalen Hurts just staying poised. Um, even with the early turnovers, even with the early turnovers, not letting that get in his head. Jalen Hurts still made a lot of good throws in that game. Um, he rushed for us the first down um, when we needed him to. Jalen Hurts had a lot of good plays in that game. 
Um, and the biggest thing for me is staying in the game, even though he had those early turnovers, staying in the game and not letting him it get him rattled or get him too scared. Um, of course, we're going to talk a little bit about the negatives when it comes to Jalen in a minute. Um, but also, when we're talking about the positives, who did I miss? Who did I miss? Um, Brayden Man and Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott, obviously, he had to do a lot of kicking. Brayden Man had some really good punts in that game, like some really good punts um, when the offense stalled out. Like, shout out to him. Um, I think I hit everybody that I wanted to hit. With the positives, just because I didn't name any somebody doesn't mean they didn't have a good game. If I didn't name them, these are just the people that jumped out. Like, these are the people that are jumping out to me. Avante Maddox, too. Obviously, Reed Blankenship. Reed Blankenship with the pick as well. Um, so, shout out to all them boys. Now, when we talk a little about the negatives, and these negatives, they're not scaring me at all. It's just something we got to clean up. One, penalties. We had a billion and one penalties. That needs to be cleaned up. Obviously, we should have played the preseason because having two issues with the snaps, um, having issues with the snaps is not cute. That's something that could have been addressed in week one if they in preseason if they played a little bit of preseason games. Jalen Hurst taking care of the ball. Um, Jalen Hurst had the two interceptions, but honestly, he could have had more interceptions. There was two other times where he forced the ball, and it was clear that the cornerback was going to catch the ball. One of them. Um, the cornerback, it just he just didn't make – it was literally basically in his hands. Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. It was in the red zone. It would have been a pick six if he made the play. Um, and it was basically right to him. Like, you could see he was jumping the route. You could – like, it was clear as day. Like, I was praying, don't throw that ball, Jalen. Don't throw it. He right there. He going to make that play. And Jalen threw the ball. So, that was a little issue I saw last season was Jalen force feeding the ball to the receivers when they're covered, smothered, and chunked. Force feed in the ball, um, we can't do that. Like, if they are in double coverage and they're smothered, don't throw them the ball. Like, of course, there's sometimes where a receiver can make a play on the ball, but there's sometimes where it's just totally evident that guy is not open. That guy is not open. Throw, don't throw him the ball. If I can see from the stands that that's a pick, if you throw it over there, don't do it. Like, and I'm not even a gridiron. Y'all know I don't be breaking down plays and she – but I could clearly, I've watched enough football in my life to see a pick coming because you could just see the position that the corner has where you just know if that ball is thrown that way, they had a position over the receiver. So when I see that and I see Jalen still throwing the ball there, like, can't do that, she. Can't do that, she. Another thing that was a negative, was there anything else? Penalties. Cleaner snaps, not throwing the ball into <laughs> somebody who's not open. Like, okay. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I feel like week two against the Falcons is going to be a good game for us. After watching the Falcons um, on Sunday, I feel like we can totally feast on the Falcons. I honestly feel bad because my boyfriend is a Falcons fan. He's coming to the game, and I honestly feel like that's some form of torture. Like, I feel like I should leave him at home because I really feel like the Eagles are about to destroy the Falcons. I could be wrong, but I'm like, I literally asked him. I was like, do you still want to go to the game? Because you know it's going to be embarrassing for you. He was like, yeah, I still want to go. I'm like, Lord, 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 Lord. But y'all, let me know how you're feeling after week one. We're going to be talking so much more about the Falcons. We're going to be talking so much more about week two. So make sure you are subscribed and tapped in.